Hey guys, Omar from Vader Solutions here. So I thought I'd try something new on my channel. Since we always get a lot of like full blown builds at my shop, I think it's about that time to just start uh, sharing the builds with you guys and the customer's reaction when, we, when they pick up their car and uh, the process of the build maybe, who knows? But yeah, we got a lot going on. Like I said, uh, show you what else we got. That's a motorcycle, that's a Harley out there, a turbo on it. So this E60 M5 is actually getting airbags, uh, catless headers, RK tune, blah, 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 you name it. And there's another M3 here getting a crank hub by the, by the uh, crank hub master himself, Mr. JD. And my M3 and all wheel drive car. It's a N54 swap B30. That's a single turbo swap, wide body 335. DAW upgraded turbo car, single turbo DCT car, and a big turbo M50 E30. So we have a lot of you know high horsepower builds in this shop. And the main goal is you know not only high horsepower but reliability too. So I want the customers to pick up the car and just enjoy it for days and days on end it's kind of impossible with mp4 because mp4 suck but they can enjoy it while they have you know and there's another car right here here i'll show you guys single turbo drag build uh six speed swap four injection you name it motor build car six speed uh 700 horsepower uh another m4 in for uh you know custom two and catalyst headers fbo you name it and the other cars, like I said, from the other video. So this F82 M4 came in from California, Bakersfield specifically, as a bone stock car. He literally just bought it. Watch, I'll just show you guys. It still has a temp tag on it. <laughs> so he bought this car, bone stock. As, it doesn't look like it's been fucked with at all. <laughs> this thing looks bone stock. But I assure you, it is not bone stock whatsoever. Even if I pop the hood, it just looks like an FBO car. And it's not an FBO car. Even the inside looks bone stock. But yeah, let's let's open the hood for you guys. So, uh, this car is bone stock. And uh, with the horsepower he wanted to make, he wanted to keep the stock exhaust so he wanted he wanted it relatively quiet which was doable and doable we ended up making it quiet it's, you can't really see nothing special except when you get to here uh you can kind of see it that's pure turbo so this is a ps2 plus turbo car upgraded twins fbo port injection Reflex tuned by wedge Flex fuel you name it. This thing has got it. This car makes an easy 750 wheel horsepower and 750 wheel torque And it looks absolutely bone stock and it sounds bone stock. Let me let me rev this guy up All right, so this is on comfort mode But let's put in sport difference through a flip of a switch still has got the sock exhaust so the goal now is to just clean this car up I did run it through a car wash and it's not even remotely clean so I gotta I gotta clean that up and then pick the customer up from the airport and should be good to go look at that man a fucking drive through car wash sucks this is a touchless wash too but I'll get it cleaned up and uh, we'll drive over to the airport so before i start cleaning that car and detailing it for the customer i want to talk about these these other builds i have we have here um so this m3 here owned by a customer in arizona um just did an inspection and upon inspection we found that the crank hub was never done 
even though he said it was done by the previous owner. And the oil cooler is just busted right here. So it's getting a new oil cooler, the Turner Motorsport skid plate to protect the oil cooler. Because if this gets damaged and it starts leaking like severely, you lost your motor. It's gone. Uh, as you can see, we're going to crank hub. You crank hub in. All drilled and ready to go. And uh, the exhaust was also done. This is the Active Auto Works Equal Length Exhaust. Sounds good. I think it's a little funny. But some people like it. This E60 here is pretty cool. It's on bags now. We just got done installing it. Now we gotta clean it up, tuck all, tuck all the uh, wiring and the hoses, and just make it look pretty. Down to the dash. Everything is out. We're gonna make it look really, really clean. This car here, nothing special, just an M54 car, all wheel drive, six speed. And we are doing a custom single turbo kit on it. We'll probably make 800 by the time I'm done with it. And this thing, I'm. I don't really care anymore. <laughs> this car here has a DAW 775 RS twin turbo setup. Badass car. So now that we're done with that, we're just gonna put the twin disc in it, fuel system, and call it a day. Fun little car. This 335 IS um, has a single turbo kit on it. We're doing a DCT clutch upgrade and the m4 single mass flywheel upgrade as well actually no it's a dual mass i'm sorry majority of it cleaned up well mineral white is really nice this is probably the last bit of it <laughs> look at that Line lock testing. Very nice. Quick detail, it did its job. And some tire shine, not bad. Time to pick the customer up from the airport. So let's go. All right, guys. So um, I just left the shop. I'm about to go pick up David. So I'm sure he just landed. Let's give him a call, see where he's at. Yo, what up, you just landed? Bet, uh, I'll be there in 15 minutes. So you'll probably be um, off the plane and outside at the same time. All right, all right, dog. All right, cool. So he just landed, um, he's still I guess trying to get out the airplane and then um, he should be outside and I should be right at the uh, terminal around the same time so man driving this car really makes me appreciate the stock M4 like as is because it just feels so stock with these twins like uh, driving normal stock exhaust it just has the characteristics of a stock car and it's great it handles amazing you know it's, it's quiet no droning which is amazing and the whole point of this build i'm not sure if you heard that but that is a clunky rear diff that is something we overlooked and uh but not a big deal um it's going to be fixed or upgraded at least so the rear diffs in these guys have very weak bushings the subframe is solidly mounted into the car on the floor of the car so there's no bushings between the subframe and the uh, floor but the diff itself uses rubber mounts they're very weak and they fail over time this car has 50,000 miles on it and it's about due for some diff bushings i recommend the kmp uh, diff bushing upgrade with the upgraded diff brace works great but as for the rest of the car it is absolutely mint so now that we know that David landed, I'm about to hop on the highway here. So the goal of this car was to, you know, get high horsepower, stock engine, upgraded clutches, blah, 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 blah. And we did, we did just that. Um, so this car has an upgraded turbo. It's 
as you know ps2 plus is and it is absolutely the best upgrade for a stock motor car absolutely the best it still has the stock characteristics of a stock car which is fantastic uh, we decided to keep the mufflers on this one stock but it does have the three and a half inch mid pipe which gives it the uh, the roar <laughs> that these cars need uh, a, a deeper tone because these are pretty raspy stock and they sound ugly but the three and a half inch mid pipe fixes that issue but uh yeah not only does it have a, the characteristics of a stock car it has the characteristics also of a small single turbo car it's amazing this car is just should have came like this from the factory well yeah i'm, I'm just in drive just cruising around has all the power i need sounds amazing just chilling. The new steering wheel I put on too. Pretty cool. So I do a lot of these builds, but uh, when these guys want, you know, crank hub done, they also want while I'm in there, turbo upgrades and uh, FBO, flex fuel, blah, 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 blah. So uh, I'm going to start recording these things now and just keep everybody up to date with these builds we're about to pull up to the airport i hope the customer likes it we're about to find out i love this car so i know he'll like it he'll like it more than the gtr honestly well we'll ask him and i bet you he says that he likes this car more than the gtr uh i'm gonna show him what this car is capable of but cruising in this car now is just amazing i love it makes me want to get another m3 and build it to this spec it's on uh, stock tires, I think, the PS4s. I'm not sure if Pile Sports. I don't even know. If it's not a Mickey Thompson, I don't care and I don't know. It sounds really good. It's pretty quiet. Um, let's give it a rev. Or oh, actually, let's put this thing in sport. Yeah. Turn off traction control. Let's put it in manual mode. And let's let it rip. Depending on how much ethanol it has, it adjusts boost and ignition timing and all that stuff. But um, man, this car feels great. I can't wait to turn this thing up some more. But uh, for a stock engine car, I think we should keep it the way it is. This is amazing. It sounds great. I'm gonna take off sport, put it in efficient mode. And now it's quiet. <laughs> pretty cool, man, pretty cool. All right, I can't wait to pick him up. I uh, hope he loves this thing. All right, so I picked up David from the airport. Say what's up. All right, we're going for a quick test hit, second gear. Let's see how this goes. Ready when you want. God! Yo! Damn! <laughs> I don't get scared of the car, but that one, that one got me. That's good, man. <laughs> How do you like it, dude? It's amazing. <laughs> GTR who? <laughs> Dog, what? Yo, man, I love this setup. I want to get another M3 just to do this, man. And now we're pulling up back to the shop. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. <laughs> that was good. Damn. What do you think, dude? I'm impressed for sure. Bro, I'm this car was lie. bone stock. It was bone stock when you dropped it off, my dude. I'm not going to lie. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> dude, third gear spun a lot a lot more than it did before. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. good. Yeah, good. 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. We got to teach him how to use that. Ah, uh, yes. You try to use the line logic. No, I'm 
not gonna do it here now, but so in order to use the line lock, this is the switch, right? So be yeah. careful hitting it with your knee when you get in the car. Yeah. But uh, to use it, pump the brakes like three times, like really hard. Uh -huh. Hold it in all the way. Then flip the switch. Okay. The car won't go anywhere. It's like I put it in, in drive. Not moving. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, what it does, it basically holds the front calipers, uh -huh. and then you rev the car all the way. You hit the button. And then you shift. Wait, wait, hit what button? There's a button inside the pedal, like the very end. Oh, oh yeah. The kick so, down, yeah, the kick yeah, down yeah. button. All the way, yeah. Yeah, and then you shift it. Yeah, floor it first, second, third, immediately. Yeah. And then it'll just spin it, and then you so then you let go, and then the car will just go. And don't forget to turn it off. So you gotta yeah. like actually fucking shift every. Yeah. Yeah. Like red line and. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What and if I short shift? Just make sure traction. You have that for traction. You have to hold this button. Yeah, yeah. Hold it down. I yeah. Yeah, it's like the E46. Yeah. Dude, I got you, bro. Glad you like it, dude. Hell yeah. yeah. Alright, dog. Drive safe. Um, just hit me up if you need anything. Just put, don't forget ethanol down the street. And you should be good to go. <laughs> Peace out, dog. Drive safe. Oh. Dude, he loves that car. He's so dude, when I gave him a ride in that thing, it like blew him away, dude. That thing was <laughs> it was sick. Then at first I gave him a ride, it was just a normal ride, and then you know, second gear, third, it was spinning a little bit. But then I gave him a ride over here, and second, third, fourth, bro, that shit was he was he got scared. He's like, dude, I thought you were to crash. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like, I don't get scared, but right yeah. here I got scared. Yeah. It was it was good. It was good. Yeah. It did the, it did its absolute best on this road right here. Yeah. Sure it's gnarly. No breakups or anything, dude. And yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, you did a good job, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, the sick ass uniforms, dude. Hell yeah. Dude, I need to put them on. True. Yeah, because you actually work, unlike somebody. Damn. <laughs> That's all about me, dude. I didn't have a uniform on. Pick up somebody in the airport, not even fucking wearing a new shirt. I know, I should have, dude. Fuck it. All right, but that's all, folks. Until next time.